Hi, this is Justin with OpenVPN Inc. And in this tutorial, I'm going to launch an OpenVPN access server in AWS and connect as a client. So I'm on the AWS uh, EC2 dashboard, and I'm just going to launch an instance from here. In our marketplace, in the AWS marketplace, we have a number of images. We're going to focus on the BYOL image, which is this first image here. It does come with two concurrent connections, which will allow us to connect as a client immediately. I just need a micro for this. Um, I have auto assign public IP enabled. A public IP is going to be uh, necessary, obviously. So if you don't have that enabled, you'd want to associate an elastic IP. And we're going to go ahead and wait for that to get launched up. And there we go. Now it's pending. Okay, there we go. Our instance is running. I'm just going to name it. And that's it. The, now the access server is running. We just need to connect to it and do a couple of things. So I'm going to SSH in. The uh, user that comes with it um, is named OpenVPN AS. So I'm going con to connect as that. And we get the licensing agreement. I'm going to agree. And then just enter through these, these options so that the server will be initialized. And then we're going to have some output that will show the URLs of the admin UI and the client web service. Now, before I connect to the admin UI, I'm going to need a password as, a, uh, as an AS user. And the user that comes with it is the bootstrap user called OpenVPN. So I'm going to change that password. And now I'm ready to connect. First, the admin UI. And of course, we're going to get an SSL uh, warning because it's a self-signed certificate. An organization would want to uh, add their own SSL certificates. Let's save that. Agree to the licensing agreement. And that's it. Access server is running. I have a view of the admin UI and the status is on. It's our latest version, 2.6.1. Now, if I go over to the client side, which is on port 943 also, I'll just remove the admin. I get the client web service, log in with those same credentials. And I'll download the client for my operating system, which is Mac. And then we'll go through the installation process. Now, Mac OS does require uh, a password for the system. So, it's my password. And that is it. So, So then I'll launch the client that I just installed, which is here. And the server that we just launched will automatically be included. When you download a client, it pulls the profile and the certificate. This is a, a, a very handy feature. So individual certificates do not need to be um, assigned to users. Um, I'll find the server. Of course, mine has multiple servers because I've done this before. Um, Yours, if you're just um, just installing, would just have the single server. And I'll go ahead and connect to the one we just launched. Asking if I want to allow the connection. Yes, I do. And there we go. We've got the green check mark. We have a VPN tunnel that is active. The count, the uh, duration begins counting and we are now sending secure traffic through the tunnel.